Hello everyone, it's Carl over at Legendary Leatherwork. How are y'all today? Today I'm going to make a lady's clutch, a real small thin lady's clutch, and uh, I'm going to put a little handle on it and all the above. So let me lay you down and we'll get started on doing some cutting. One second right quick here. Alrighty, here's my pattern because I don't have a die made yet. This top is for the zipper that we're going to put in it, of course. So let me lay out the leather that we've got. It's a real pretty, kind of a nice, beautiful green color of leather. A little different than the uh, ostrich leather that we did earlier. It's real pretty, got a little bit of a pebble grain to it, but not too much. Just a simple, beautiful leather. So I'm going to lay this out. <clears throat> We're going to put this down on here and see if we can cut out a piece that will work for this little clutch wallet. Clutch wallet, I have <clears throat> a couple of pockets inside, some credit card pockets, going to have a zipper pocket as you could tell on the outside but we'll work that out when we get to it all right get it up in here where it's nice and even up in here to try to utilize your yield try to keep from tearing up all this stuff and making it just about right so <clears throat> once we lay that one out of course we will glue down the cornered edges so this baby won't go nowhere or glue down I mean taped <laughs> sorry about that <clears throat> let's see what we can do right quick I know it takes a little time to tape it but it's the quickest and easiest way I've found other than using other items to uh, keep it from moving some people like to tape it or, I mean, use sandpaper on the back. But <clears throat> if you ever got to change the pattern out, then you're wasting money on sandpaper and whatnot. So I just use simple masking tape. Roll up the edges. <clears throat> and we do pretty good. Hopefully you guys saw the video and whoop, see right there, I, may, I can move it over a little just to be sure I get enough on there. <clears throat> Hopefully y'all saw the video of the turtle skin, the snapping turtle leather that's new on the market. Really pretty stuff. I've already got a customer wanting a uh, wallet out of it which I thought was really nice. So we're going to try that out in a couple of days after I finish this project. Working on a, a black Bible cover for a customer down in Houston, Texas. <coughs> so we're picking up a little bit from YouTube and getting a little busy which is a blessing. Thank you all for watching and quite a few people have subscribed to my channel so that's a blessing as well. Thank you very much to all the people that have helped me get this thing started and started rolling down the down the pathway which is really really fun. I've so enjoyed doing these videos <clears throat> and hopefully it, it shows a few people that anybody can do these videos not just the average person or a person that's got a lot of skill hey the only skill I've got is <laughs> talking 
and working on leather. All the other skills kind of come second hand. Okay, <clears throat> got that little piece all taped down. So I get my nice My nice ruler, tape it down a little bit, and we're on to cutting. <clears throat> yeah, I'm really excited about starting to use the uh, the um, that snapping turtle. It's going to be a really interesting venture. Alrighty. <clears throat> Let's set this down right close. <clears throat> I got to meet the gentleman that is uh, creating and selling the the snapping turtle <coughs> leather. Really interesting gentleman. A lot of good information very intelligent man he saw a need or he saw a, a need in the industry <clears throat> for this leather and luckily it was available so he started using it and now he has it to the point to where he can begin selling it to the public which is really cool <clears throat> Move that out of the way a little bit. <clears throat> I haven't told you, but I will be using a beautiful leather on this green leather as well. And I'm putting some black alligator on it. <clears throat> this will have a gusset. <clears throat> Excuse me. It'll have a gusset on both sides. Okay. I have a zipper on the outside. It'll close with a zipper on top. It's going to be a really pretty little clutch. This clutch is actually being, I'm making it for my sister actually. She had one that was pretty wore out, so she asked me if I could make a new one. So I told her I possibly would be able to. Okay. Now she said that all four corners will stay straight. They're not going to be curved at any point because we're going to close the corners off with a zipper. So I'm going to pull these off. I'm going to use a, a very, very nice black kid skin. I mean, uh, uh, pig lining, not kid, kid skin. It's a pig lining, and I'll show you right quick. The reason why I'm using pig lining, it's real thin, but very, very durable. It's easy to work with. I'll show it to you right quick. Once you get everything out of the way. Let's see, here we go. This is a real nice pig lining. It's got good grain to it. It's very, very durable, long lasting. That'll be the inside of the, and it's very thin, very strong, very supple. That's going to be a real nice interior. Make nice pockets out of it. It'll be good for the gusset on the side. So we're going to use it. Lay that up there. 
I'll show you some of the uh, gator too, right quick. It's my little bag of tricks. Got a couple of pieces of gator in here. Just have to find the right one. Is that one up? Yeah. This piece right here, it's going to be over which a green piece. Okay. This piece right here, it will go over the top right there. And I will put a zipper right in the middle. Y'all saw earlier on the cardboard pattern, that hole in the middle, that was for the zipper. And then there will be a piece of leather here, just like so, right about in the middle. And we'll lay it down there, like so. And it'll fold under, and then there'll be alligator for the gussets. It's going to be very, very pretty. Sister will really, really love this one. So what I'll do now is lay all this up top here, get my cardboard pattern back, and as I said, I will lay the uh, this pig lining down. and use it to cut out the interior. So I will go ahead and close this little segment. I'll go ahead and cut out this interior, get the other pieces, and then I will see you back in a little bit. Okay? Thank you. We'll talk to you in a few.